Hello guys, welcome back to another STM32 tutorial and today I'll be showing you how you can store data in the flash memory of the STM32 and uh, what you notice that when you store data in the flash memory even after you uh, disconnect the board or the MCU from power you still retain uh, the data that you have stored so let's create a new project and uh, select the board that I'm using. I'm using 446RE. And then select the board and start project. Then you don't have to initialize in their default mode. From here, the first thing that you should do is clear the pinouts. Then uh, go to system call, RCC. And I'm going to enable the external oscillators and then I'll be using pin PA5 as output uh, connected to my buzzer and then uh, from there you go to color configuration, select the external oscillator and then put the maximum frequency to be 180 megahertz. And from there you go to project manager, give your project a name, I call it uh, flash memory, flash memory, YouTube. And then I'll be using MDKM, that is Kelio Vision, so generate code. So from there you open project, then after opening the project you go to main.c and you first build the code. Then uh, the code has no errors, so uh, you can uh, look for a file named uh, flash.c and uh, this is uh, the driver and you, uh, you are given steps how to use the driver so for me flash memory how you programming functions you have to use the lock and unlock the flash interface using the flash unlock and the flash lock then you can program uh, the following data either byte half word word and double word and also you, there are two modes of programming you can programming uh, you can program using uh, polling mode and you can also program using interrupt mode so in this case I'll be using uh, the polling mode so now you have to go to our main and uh, I want us to write something to the flash memory if you go to your uh, reference manual of the board uh, this is the reference manual of the F446 RE. So we can see that we have sector 0 to sector 7. So I'm going to select sector 6. You can uh, select the following sectors. These are reserved for the uh, system memory, the one time programmable area, and the option bytes. Uh, but I'm going to use uh, sector 6 with uh, this uh, memory address. So I'm going to declare a variable here, and I call it uh, in 32 SKT, uh, flash address. Flash address. And then uh, from there, that is the flash address. Oh, it is equals to that then uh, we come here the user code begin to we have to unlock the flash memory uh, flash unlock then from there we program a uh, flash program Okay, inside this function, uh, let me go to where this function is defined. Uh, you 
can see that uh, from here if you look at the if conditions you can use uh, you can either program a byte a half word a word or a double word so in our case we are going to program a byte so flash type program byte and then we have the address so the address is the flash address and then uh, lastly we have the data that you want to write so we are writing uh, 23 and then from there after a program you are going to lock the flash memory then let's view the code from there uh, let's load the code to our board and then let's start a debug session then I'm going to extend this here and then go to the memory and I want us to see what will be written in this memory address so if I uh, put a breaking point here and then run the code we can uh, restart it again you can see that we have 23 stored in the flash memory so if I want to write more than one data or more than a half uh, more than a one byte So uh, I'm going to define uh, a variable here of your int 8 and I'll have it as a data and uh, I have four elements then uh, from there I initialize them the first one will be 23 the second one will be 24 a third one will be 25 and uh, the other one will be 26 that is 0 26 so those are four and then from there I'm going to uh, use a for loop so and I'm also going to declare another variable here of uh, uint Eight underscore ti. So I'm going to have for i is equals to zero. I is less than or equals to three. Then i plus plus. Then I have that. Then I'm going to increment the flash address by one every time I store a value so that we can go to the next memory and then I'm going to store data I so then from there I lock the flash memory so let's build the code Then I'm going to load the code to my board and then start a debug session. Mm. 
then uh, we expect that uh, we shall have the first value 23 at uh, this memory address the next one here until we have uh, this was supposed to be 26 but uh, let's see what we shall have so I'm going to load the code to the board and run you can see that we have all the values uh, this is B6 uh, if you convert to uh, this has been converted to B6 that is 26 that is 266 and uh, if you want to erase this data uh, maybe uh, to erase the data uh, you have to use the same procedure you have to analog the flash memory then finally you have to lock it and then from there uh, you have to have flash you have to erase sector now erase erase okay let me look for this function in the flash.c it is not in the flash.c it is in the flash x.c so I'm going to use this to erase the sector and uh, the first parameter is the sector remember that we used sector 6 so I'm going to have 6 then from there the voltage range that you want to erase with is uh, if I go to the definition of that you'll see that we have flash voltage range 1 flash voltage range 2 and range 3 so they are defined here when the device range is 2.7 to 3.6 the operation will be done by word so I'll be using this because the voltage range is 2.7 to 3.6 and I'm going to have that and then I'm going to now edit this to 26 and then uh, build the code then I'm going to the code to my board and then uh, start a debug session then I'll add a breaking point uh, at client 97 so that we can view uh, after, the re after the erasure of the data so if I run the code you can see that all the data that was stored from this address to 4 to plus 4 address is erased now from here we have this function that we want to write uh, the data so I'm going to continue and uh, you can see that we have the other data is written so if I reset this you can see now we have all the data the 4 23 24 25 and 26 so now I'm going to show you how to uh, read the data from the flash memory so before uh, writing the code to read the data from the flash memory I'm going to uh, change this to 5 uh, this to 6 this to 7 and that to 8 and then from there 
now we shall have a function to read now the data from the flash so we are going to uh, unlock the flash then uh, we use the for for loop so for uh, i equals zero i is less than or equals to three then i plus plus then inside here you want to read the three data that we had stored in the flash memory to read that data i want us to have another variable here uh, you int 8 underscore t uh, rx data or red data and then you can have four from there we have uh, that r r data i will be equals to going to use a pointer here i o then u int 8 underscore t pointer then we want to read from uh, the address so we can initialize the flash address here uh, to take the initial value which is this then from there we want to have the flash address uh, flash address then you are going to increment the flash address by one so plus plus then when we are done we have to lock the flash memory so I'll flash lock so let's build the code now So the code has zero errors and then let's load the code to our board and uh, maybe we can use a for loop again for int for i equals zero i is less than or equals to uh, r data one then uh, i plus plus and then from there uh, so this is our data we can uh, turn on and off the led or the buzzer her gpio right pin Uh, GPIO A, then GPIO pin 5, then uh, GPIO pin set. Then we're going to delay this for a second, then have delay on uh, seconds. Then I'm going to copy and uh, paste then I want to reset in the second part and then uh, we notice that in R data 1 we have 6 so we expect that the buzzer will go on and off 6 times so let's build the code So then load the code to our board and then we are going to start a debug session.
from here you can say that we have uh, declared a variable uh, our data to receive the data that will be read from the uh, flash memory and uh, first we are going to uh, replace this data uh, with the above then uh, from there uh, we are going to uh, read it and then the data that will be stored in rx1 we are going to blink the led uh, or simply uh, buzz for the number of times stored in the r data so again from the watch one you can see that the rx data is zero so this is where we are reading so we expect that uh, finally we shall see that we have read uh, five six seven and eight so let's run the code then reset again you can see that uh, we have stored five six seven and eight where there was 23 24 25 and 26 and then in watch one you can see that the data that we had stored and uh, since we have uh, in our data one we have six times and we are blinking from zero to six we shall hear the buzzer going on and off seven times so let's reset again one two three four five six and seven so thank you guys for following up with me uh, if you have any question leave it in the comment section uh, don't forget to like share or even subscribe i'll see you in the next tutorial bye